Well, round two in the fight against the Asian giant hornet is just around the corner, and the state is expected to announce its plan to track, trap, and eradicate the invasive species tomorrow. Q13's Grace Lim spoke to one beekeeper about the plan and why it's so important for people to try to help out. It's devastating, and, and it's, uh, it's sad because there's no way to protect your, your bees. I mean, the, the bees are totally helpless. Beekeeper Ted McFall knows firsthand the vicious nature of the Asian giant hornet. It's terrible to, uh, to show up to your apiary, and then you find a colony that all the bees have been beheaded. 60,000 bees slaughtered in a matter of hours. It's unclear how the Asian giant hornet made it on U.S. soil, but it was first discovered in Whatcom County at the end of November 2019, and the first nest was eradicated in October in a tree near a children's play area in Blaine. That nest may have contained 200 queens. If they had not stopped that nest and eradicated that nest, that would have been... Um, that would have been 200 nests that could have been established here on U.S. soil. The Washington State Department of Agriculture suspects there are more nests and is working with British Columbia and U.S. federal agencies to track, trap, and eradicate the invasive species this season. The plan of attack is to set out bottle traps for 22 consecutive weeks from July to November. Trapping methods will be slightly different from last year. We're planning on still using the orange juice with the rice wine and of course we're also going to be experimenting using a uh, grape juice with cowpeas. Cowpeas is this type of uh, it's a type of a soft drink that they drink in Asia. It's, it's kind of sweet. It, it's uh, it's non-carbonated but they use it over there in Asia and it, it has some success. The Asian giant hornet is a huge threat to honeybees which are essential to our food supply and if eradication is unsuccessful we could see higher food prices which is why McFall says it's crucial for the community to join the fight. Right now since it's isolated here in Washington state we still have a chance of stopping this thing. In Whatcom County, Grace Slim Q13 News. So people who live in Whatcom, Skagit, San Juan, Island, Jefferson, and Clallam counties are encouraged to participate trapping the Asian giant hornet. To learn more on how to make bottle traps or to report a sighting, just go to our website, q13fox.com.